joined by Tavita Pangai Jr. ahead of his big clash versus Frank Amato. Tavita, how are you feeling, mate? You're looking fit, looking to make it through professional wins, and you've been training the house down, which is amazing. Yeah, I feel good, man. I feel good. Um, you know, seeing Drive uh, four or five weeks ago, Drive Patel, you could see that look in his eye. You know, he, he put his whole life into um, into boxing, so. That's what I, I plan on um, emulating on, on Saturday night. Opataya has shown that he's got that mongrel in Tavita that he really wants to, to basically shut everybody up with his skills, and he's got that ability, and that's something that looks like you have as well. So it's a great opportunity for you to just go out there and box and put on a great performance. Yeah, I, I've got talent, but you know, um, people question my work ethic, and you know, that's that's the wrong thing to do, especially in boxing. I love boxing, um, you know. I haven't been boxing as long as Joe, but you know, I plan on um, you know, doing the same thing he's doing, making noise in the, in the sport and putting Australia on the map. Fantastic opportunity to be on this platform, Stan Sport, giving pay-per-view a big opportunity. That must feel great for you to be right up the top of the car and be able to showcase your skills. Yeah, I, you know, hopefully one day I can um, you know, do my, uh, be the main event, but for now, you know, I'll bide my time, you know, let these guys have their shine, but at the end of the day, I'm the draw card. I'm the, I'm the king in crossover sport, you know? Yeah, Chuck you... Monday, Chuck Monday, I'm coming for it. You are, mate. You are the king now. Everyone's, you've got your names on everybody's lips, which is great. And, and that's the focus where it's at now. You've given up rugby league to go and chase boxing. You've shown in your first couple of fights that you do have the skills. Now, is it just about the commitment now and putting in the focus and the training, the dieting, all that sort of thing? Yeah, like I said, like I said, I sent Joy six weeks ago. He was already on weight. And uh, that's, that's what I found in India, that lifestyle. You know, we're we're going to dedicate ourselves to that, to be sport. And we're going to put Australian boxing on the map. So shout out to Joy for giving me that hunger and that desire to, to fucking prove a point. Awesome, mate. Just last one really quickly. What's it going to be like? You've come up against 13 on 13 against some of the boys that have been weighing in here. You're coming up against Frank, who's a professional boxer. But that difference in team mentality to individual mentality, what's that been like preparing for? Yeah, look, he's, he's told me he's going to throw some bombs, but, um, you know, I've had some good sparring. You know, I've sparred Django, who's number three in Australia. So, And, um, you know, he's, he's got me ready and I've got a good sparring with Troy Kucha, Queensland champ. So, you know, preparation is key. And, um, you know, prepare to fail, fail to prepare. You know that saying, whatever it is, I prepared well. <laughs> I can't wait to announce you, Tavita. You are the bad man coming up yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, Chuck Monday, you're the man, but I'm a bad man. All right? You're the bad man. <laughs> there he is, Tavita Pangai Jr.